What's up, Moles Tube? We're uh, playing this Matrix Awakening, and uh, this is the demo. As you can see here, we just jump into the game. It gives us the option to fly. Uh, what I had done is randomly scaled this building. I was astonished by you know the random empty rooms that you can see within the building. As you can see here, panning up and down, uh, just being mesmerized by you know unreal engine as i uh scale the walls uh, on the right here then i decide to scale the walls on the left as i start to go up i notice this big gaping hole now this is the matrix i thought maybe this is like an entry point for something uh clearly it's not and what you could see here is uh the random roof items uh there's going to be event ductwork, electrical boxes and such. Those are the items that you see through that hole. It took me some time to uh, you know get the controls right going up and down. You can see that the walls do not meet. Um, I start to scale uh, some more up and down. Uh, you can see just below that crack the two halves of the wall do not meet. They actually intersect and they did not mend this point. So as I start to go up towards the roof, once we uh, do that here, I'm just doing a uh, voiceover the video, as you can see. I just wanted to do an aerial of where I was actually located. And for anybody who had played this uh, demo or this Matrix Awakening experience, you could uh, possibly locate this within your file as well. Now as I go up you'll see that uh, where they laid blocks of the building or the section one is actually elevated uh, next to the ones that are actually in line. So what I'm trying to get at is uh, this game is actually unfinished. Uh, for them to brag about this game, testing the limits of the PlayStation, you can see these are those corners that I'm talking about. They actually overlay on top of each other. And I'm sure this uh, little corner isn't even supposed to be here. There's a little gap inside of it. You can go through. As you look around, see the transparency. So I actually go inside of the wall up ahead here. And then there's more hotel rooms that you can see within here. There were no um, hidden messages or anything that said, you know, you aren't supposed to be here, as we've seen in a couple Easter eggs in other video games. I know The Division was popular for it. Uh, just wanted to actually raise awareness to a game that was uh, rated so highly. Uh, they were talking about this game being so great. You can see that these two walls don't even meet right there. And uh, with that being said, uh, if you're going to build a game and supposedly test the limits of the PlayStation 5, at least give us the final product. And if the uh, demo is to be released in its final form, don't promote a game such as this and have these type of flaws going on. So you can see the roof items over there. Um, I'm sure I, I'll get us back out on top of the roof and you'll be able to identify some of the items you could see from the rooftop. Yeah, I know you're not supposed to be able to do this. You could take a look at this corner. Uh, you see how perfectly clean the images are or the building is as compared to this contrast right here. <laughs> it's just they, some of those developers I guess they just maybe didn't have enough coffee, didn't care enough. It's pretty terrible. Uh, <laughs> leave some comments uh, down below I'd love to hear them what did you guys think about this demo um, there is another location I'm gonna take you guys to and you'll be able to see uh, another uh, building uh, and it's just that random you know traveling through the game nothing that I was actually purposely looking for it was just uh, I had the option to fly and I took 
the initiative to do so. I'm sure there's other bugs throughout the game. This would more than likely not be the only one. But as far as uh, the realistic uh, encounters in this game, um, driving and crashing, the uh, high-speed crashes are amazing. It has you fooled. You literally have to struggle <laughs> to understand that this is just a video game. Your mind constantly looks at this and you're just astonished uh, on how real it is or how real it portrays to be. I wanted to show you guys this other uh, area on the same building. It's got a clock tower. Everything up here looked to be okay. Nothing that caught my eye. Now, as soon as we get back to that same corner where uh, it had the defect, there was a raised area. And you can see that the, uh, the building's not in line at that corner. You'll see a a split where they did not completely mesh the building together. And you're supposed to be able to run right into something like that and it should block you from actually going in. So as you can see here I was stumbling upon some of the uh, video controls here. Let's see if we can. I can't fast forward while I'm doing this, but I will show you here. <laughs> Sorry for the delay, but as I was going up, I wanted to show you some of the roof items and uh, zooming in on them. I found out, you know, like we can actually control some of the video being displayed nonetheless we got a shit uh <laughs> shitty a finished unfinished product so unreal had submitted this to us in its finished form but as you can see it's unfinished you got is a couple roof vents some ladders or steps and then there's um, more roof vents and such you see the traffic driving over there in that area Uh, electrical boxes so buyer beware is uh, my recommendation as you can see when we go up you see that split right there that split right there is because this little corner block is misaligned as I uh, raise the camera and go up we'll be able to see that a little more clear you can see those lines don't meet up right here you can see it's raised at that corner it's not in line and at this area it's raised as well now these developers uh, anticipate accepting full payment for these video games our hobbies you know we uh, take time to play these video games and attempt to enjoy them if this is something that doesn't bug you ignore this video give me a thumbs down don't share it but if this is something that uh, helps you identify uh, some of the characteristics that I am, I guess, annoyed by, you know, like why would I pay full uh, price for a video game that isn't complete? This is the other location to another building that I had found we can actually go inside of or be able to see through the um, little 2D wall, I'll call it. It's not, Hardly 3D when you can see inside. It's so not so much that I'm actually breaking the game here. It's that they didn't put it so where it was a non-penetrable wall. 
I went inside, and it's not that you actually have to go to that exact corner to go inside, but you see how you get stumped and you can't go any further? It's just whoever developed the one wall didn't do a great job. See this building does the exact same. Once we get a little bit halfway through, we're going to start going down, and you'll see I'll start breaking into the wall itself. We'll see off to the left there. You don't have to pause because up ahead we've got a still shot coming right up. And you'll be able to see it's some kind of bank. I don't know if this is related to a mission and maybe we actually have to go there. And that's why these doors or elevators are actually inside of this and that they are visible. But there's one right there and there's the other. It's just plain old. You know, like 2D structures. Like looking at Paper Mario here. So with that being said, this is Mo2Tube. Mo Thanks for watching. Let me know with the comments down below. Like, share, subscribe. Peace. Till next time.